exciting intelligence community. We've got a 2012 camera LE. We've got an oil change that we need to do on this. I'm sure that that's a pretty common video on the, uh, on the internet. But I'm also going to check a check engine light. Uh, the owner, when she asked me to change her oil, also indicated that there is a check engine light. I have not done a diagnostic on that, but I'll do that as part of this oil change. Let's see what we got. If you'll indulge me for just a moment before I get into the repair of this 2012 Camry, the end of this video features a, uh, a discussion with the owner of the vehicle who is a fantastic chef and has a Facebook and Instagram page where she features her delicacies. Please watch to the end and subscribe to her channels. Finally got this Camry's oil filter housing off. You can see that I did a little damage here because I was trying to use one of my tools. Um, this clamping device, they put these things on tight, seriously tight at the Toyota dealership. So I finally had to break down and drive out and pick up one of these special tools. So I would say if you've got a Toyota Camry, do not try to do this without the proper tool. This engages 100% and it still takes a lot of torque to remove it, but it, it finally does come off. Turns out that aluminum plug at the bottom of the oil filter housing is not to assist with removal of the oil filter housing. Rather, you take that off to drain the oil filter and even the new oil filter that I bought comes with a, an, a plastic flute that you insert in there to, to assist with uh, drainage of the, uh, of the oil. I didn't use it that way since I wasn't aware of the operation, but um, uh, once I removed the oil filter housing, all the oil came out and uh, it was no problem. The new oil filter, which is a cartridge style, also came with new O-rings. The big O-ring is for the main casing of the oil filter, and then the small O-ring is for that aluminum insert that was at the bottom. Be sure you change these. I found with uh, one of my followers that uh, had come to me to get his oil change after going to some of these quick change places, that they were not changing these O-rings. They get dried and brittle, and they crack, and they'll fall apart. Then you've got an oil leak and you've got some of this, these uh, broken pieces inside your oiling system. So make sure you change these every time you change your oil filter. As I mentioned, this owner indicates she has a check engine light that says maintenance required. And I'm running a, a full diagnostic of all engine modules. Thankfully, the oil change was pretty easy, but getting into the engine codes, Interestingly enough, the, uh, the maintenance required light was probably for the oil and there was no check engine light, which is kind of confusing to me because when I ran diagnostics on this vehicle, as you can see with this blue driver report, I had a tremendous number of error codes. Uh, I did a bunch of research on this. I've not had a lot of experience with CAN bus, actually almost none. Uh, I recently just started studying CAN bus and my first assumption when I looked at all this was that there was a problem with CAN bus communication. And as I researched each of these codes, each one of these C codes, for example, B codes, P codes, they all had an indication that there might be a circuit issue or an open circuit. Then I got to these U codes and all of them consistently lead me to think that there is a problem with this Camry's CAN bus system. So I don't have the vehicle local to me. It's about 60 miles away. Um, I'm going to have to uh, either meet with this person again or recommend that she take her car to a Toyota dealership. And I'm sure that it's going to be a very expensive repair operation. Uh, but this is indicating to me that there's likely a CAN bus issue and that none of these modules um, that uh, are indicating failure are actually the problem. Uh, for example, the USB and the radio worked when it gave me a USB uh, error code. Where is that? Um, right here. Uh, the lights all work. All the functions work. Transmission, engine start, they all work properly. Uh, but uh, apparently the, uh, the CAN bus is not allowing these modules to communicate with each other, which is uh, pump popping out these error codes. So I'm not going to be able to resolve this in this video, but uh, this was an interesting learning for me and hopefully an, a learning for you as well, that when you get a massive number of error codes, uh, some of them may be the result of a primary code. And in this case, uh, all these error codes are probably the result of CAN bus issues. For easier viewing, I summarize all the OBD2 codes 
and I place the primary codes that I think are the problem, which are the U codes at the top. Uh, those definitely need to be resolved first, and then uh, the B, P, and C codes should be resolved uh, as a secondary issue. I uh, I definitely think that the uh, the CAN bus is the issue with this vehicle. Um, so now I want to uh, present a video I did with the owner that made a, a delicious meal for me, uh, chicken curry, and she's gonna describe that. She's got an Instagram channel and a Facebook channel. Please subscribe to her channel and please subscribe to mine and enjoy. Hello, driving intelligence community. Uh, today I had the opportunity to work on Martha's uh, Camry 2012. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. I have an oil change, plus I have a check engine light. And uh, as a result, I, uh, I ended up getting a great dinner. She's a fantastic cook. She has her own Instagram page, which I'm going to link below. But I'll let her talk about uh, what she does briefly and uh, explain this dish. And then we're going to go eat. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me here today. De nada, de nada. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Okay, today I made a Thai chicken. It's an Indian food. And a Thai, it's like a, a mix of Thai and Indian food. Mm. Okay, it's a chicken with a, um, a coconut milk, with a peanut butter, and cashews, and some uh, jasmine rice. Mm. So are you going to, do you share the, the recipe, or how do you do of that? Of course. On I your can, page? Yes, I can share my okay. recipe. You have to follow me in uh, Taste of Home 48, and you can... I'll link below. And you can enjoy a lot of recipes that I have there. So let me show you up close. <laughs> Num 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 num. <laughs> Sorry, you can't have some, but we're gonna eat right now. Okay. Please check out our link below. Thank you.